Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to another riveting episode of Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for joining me today. You know, today I found myself in Apache Junction, Arizona, over at RV Park Model Traders, and what I'm standing on right now is an absolutely gorgeous park model built by Cavco. This floor plan I have not seen before, and the finishes inside of this home I have never seen in a park model, and I can't wait to show you, so let's get going. All right, everybody, I'm excited to check out this park model that to me looks more like a cabin and you'll see why from the inside and out. But look at this nice wood tone and this hunter green accent. I like that. Plenty of windows, but let's show you first where your water access is. That is conveniently located on the outside, which is situated right underneath the sink area. So you are not wasting any space in a home like this, which is which is smart, really. Um, coming around, we have, as you see, a nice metal roof. We have a loft in this home. And back here, you see your electrical hookups, your plumbing right below that, and your air conditioning unit rides on the outside, which helps save some space inside the home as well. So that's really nice. I love the eaves on this home. And again, we have a nice loft, this hunter green, this wood tone, I'm digging it. But what this is, this is the hill view from the cabin series built by Palm Harbor by Cafco. It is a one bed, one bath park model sitting at 399 square feet. The dimensions of this home are a 44 by 11 feet, two inch. And that includes this eight foot porch right here in the front. So let's go ahead and get on inside. The asking price for this, the base price is about $100,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now, if you thought the outside looked like a cabin, take a look at this. And this is what I was talking about. This is an aesthetic that I haven't really seen in many manufactured homes, let alone park models. But this, this is beautiful and rustic, let me tell you. And hey, before we get started, do me a favor and help the channel out and leave us a like. And hey, leave us a comment if you have any questions. And if you haven't had a chance, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. But look at this living room. We have that fan up there. On the right-hand side, you have your electrical hookup, so that's where you'd put your television. Left-hand side, you see an air conditioning unit right above the window, which is convenient. And if I've calculated the size of this living room correctly, it's about 10 feet by eight feet. But take a look around. This entire home is bare wood and I am enjoying it. Um, I can absolutely see this, you know, I mean, place in the, uh, you know, the backwoods or, or maybe somebody's hunting lodge or heck, somebody's retiree home. This would be perfect. But take a look at this kitchen. This kitchen even is nice and spacious for being a park model. We have nice um, storage capabilities like this cupboard here that doesn't have adjustable shelves, but that's all right. And then, you know, as you saw there, we have the uh, double sink, the double inset sink right there with the pull out faucet, which is great. And we have a drawer bank right here, three drawers, nice soft clothes. That was pretty cool. I didn't expect that. And then spinning around, you see we have the stainless steel package here, your microwave range hood, a glass top stove, and a nice Whirlpool refrigerator. And right here, you know, you have even some more options, maybe some spices, pasta, something. Right over here, we have even more storage capabilities, three cupboards there, and then you have a spot underneath the stairs for anything that just needs to be put away. So, you know, they are really maximizing the space in this park model. I give it to them. I like it. And even right here in the hallway, we have some shelving. That is nice. You know, of course, you could use that for form or function, um, form, function, or design, you know, um, decorate it. Right over here is where your stackable washer and dryer could go. Um, everything's all set up right there. That is really cool. And then we have a nice, nice restroom air in this park model right there. You have some, you know, four shelves. Um, that could be some linen storage, some decor, whatnot. A nice vanity here, big mirror, um, great can lighting throughout the home. Spinning around, you see we have a nice little uh, window here to let that natural light in, which is always helpful. And then over here, we have a nice size. I think this is like a 42 inch um, shower. Uh, I glanced over the, the, the specs here, but it's a nice shower more than, than what you need. 
we have a nice little small step there, which makes it easy. Now, the only thing, of course, it's a park model, so everything is a little more narrow than you would assume. So just to let you know that, uh, we have pocket doors in this home, and then right over here, we have the primary. Again, if I've calculated the size of this primary, it's around like eight uh, feet by nine feet-ish or so. Um, so don't quote me, I could be wrong, but I love the vaulted ceilings. So you have the capability of putting a um, ceiling fan right there up top, that's set up for you. And another air conditioning unit right there, that, that's nice. And then right there, that's where your TV would go in this room. So that's cool. They have they've thought of pretty much everything. And then the uh, within the closet here, you figured it would be a, a wooden uh, wooden coat rod and a wooden shelf, right? Not a metal one in here. So that is nice. But again, like the entire aesthetic all throughout the house, I am digging this like knotty wood, this just wood design. Um, I'm digging it. And then let's go check out the loft up here. Not too steep of stairs, but they are kind of tight. You know, um, coming up here, we have a nice, um, we have a nice amount of room, nice windows, that natural light. We have smoke alarms everywhere. Um, nice. We have plenty of room. You can definitely put like two twins here. Um, the the gate here or the the fence there is rather strong. It's it's placed against the sides there, so you know nothing will kind of push it out and fall. But this is a nice little loft. It's nice, spacious, and again, I'm just digging the wood, really. Um, now let's make our way down. See, it's not that steep. Some, some park models, you know, right there, that is a steep, steep climb. But actually, that was rather comfortable. I, I didn't mind that one at all. So, but hey, there was the park model, everyone. You know, thank you for joining me. I appreciate everyone's support. I'm glad you're following along. And like I said, if you haven't, click that subscribe button. If you want to know more information, I've sent you to the uh, RV Park Model Traders page on manufacturedhomes.com because this one is sold, but take a look at everything that they have. So, but again, everyone, thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you again wherever the next one's going to be. But in the meantime, live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy.